Hello everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. Today is bluegrass improvisation time and I want to give you a little technique that I call linear flow improvisation. Do stick around to the end of the lesson because I'm going to give you some extra tips with this exercise. So improvisation is a really big topic and I think it can be useful to think of improvisation on a sliding scale with the more free side and the more structured and the more planned. For example, me talking to the camera now is improvising. Okay, I've used all these words before. I've even used most of them in this particular order, but I haven't done it right now at this time and I'm not following a script. So there's an amount of improvisation in conversation. So if you say that you don't improvise, you're already improvising. When we tell stories, we're improvising. We might've told them before, but we might've told them a little bit differently. And we're drawing on previous experiences to then make something happen on the spot. That's the definition of improvisation. This lesson is part of my Bluegrass and Country Harmonica course, level one, a beginner's course. So do check that out if you're interested in more of this kind of stuff. Here's our scale or group of notes. You perceptive people may notice that this is actually the major pentatonic scale with one note, the bent note missing. I just want to leave that out for the time being. You can definitely pop that in after, but we'll just leave it out for the moment. So my objective with this scale is to just play up and down it smoothly without stopping. OK, I can repeat sections for as long as I like. Obviously, it might get boring if you just repeat two notes for a whole minute. But the objective is to keep going linear motion, just keep going through the exercise. You'll notice there I'm just going up and down. Okay, that's gonna get boring. So we're gonna to start to go back and forth. No set structure or pattern, I just gotta keep going. So now I'm going to repeat some of the notes, but I've still got to just keep going. And the key is to not go too fast at first. So I'm thinking about everywhere that I go. It's not too hard at that speed, but some people do find this difficult. See how long you can just keep going for. Once that gets familiar, you can increase the speed a little bit. You'll notice at the moment that I'm only playing notes next to each other, so I'm not jumping around. Again, as you get familiar, you can miss notes out. So I could say instead of going two, three, four, I can jump straight to the four. And then maybe hop back up to the six. So you'll hear that I start to find little riffs and get into these grooves and repeat over and over again. And you could think of this as being a bit more on the freer side of improvisation. I have given a number of holes we've got to work with. Uh, so there is a parameter there, but I'm not just playing licks. I am trying to just continue in this way. We are creating new stuff. OK, so some of the things you're going to play are new. And there's something about this exercise, which is really, really good for the mind and good for creativity to just continue with a pattern, just to keep going that linear motion and to do it at a slow speed is really, really good. So as usual, if you like the content here at the Harmonica Barge, please give me the thumbs up, uh, like the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. That all helps me out a lot. Thanks very much. So to make this flow better, I'm also going to add a couple of notes in the lower octave, and that would be the two blow and the one draw. And then we're going to try and go around this scale with a track. So I want to just do quarter notes at first.
Now you might think that's really slow, and it is, but that's good because we're cementing the scale and we're doing it at a speed where we can be intentional and think about the next note. I could increase that to eighth notes, but I wouldn't rush into this. Two, three. Try 16th notes, probably too fast. So I think you probably heard there that when I was getting faster, you can hear these little patterns emerging. But again, don't rush with this, just take your time. And you might find that if you've also been practicing licks, you go into some of your licks you've learned before. And that's good. It means that you're accessing vocabulary, which you've already memorized. So this isn't about necessarily trying to find licks, but you will have some really happy accidents. And this kind of playing will just free you up to be able to move on the harmonica and start to create your own patterns and your own improvisations. So do try this slowly at first, then you can put on a track and increase the speed and have some fun with it. We're not too worried about what the chords are of the backing track at the moment. That is a very valid thing to be concerned with, but that's a different kind of improvisation. That's not what this is about. We're just coming up with our own patterns and then we're going to just play over the track. And you'll start to find these little loops that you get into and you'll hear which notes sound more at home over different chords. If you've listen to a lot of this music if you've grown up listening to it you'll hopefully already be coming out with little patterns that just seem to work we don't need to know why so much at the moment so do have fun with this for anyone who's interested in more bluegrass and country harmonica do check out my beginners course we do comping in the course more improvisation there's licks listening and stylistic awareness so do take a look at that thanks everybody do leave comments for me let me know how you're finding this is it helpful does it have no benefit whatsoever it'd be great to know okay i'll see you for another video very soon until then take care bye bye